Mr. Investor, welcome back to the channel, baby. Well, oh, there's been some progress over the waters. Yes, apparently bingo has been used with Illumina in China. Well, don't take my word for it. This Eureka Alert released this news on the 31st of May. Before we get into this video, thank you to everybody for the love and support. Thank you for if you sent me donations, if you supported me throughout the months. I know it's been a tough time and a lot of us have seen bingo go up, down and all around. But I really love and appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Remember, none of this is financial advice. It's for entertainment only. Please click the join button if you're able to support my channel. But if you're unable to, just you hitting the like button and clicking subscribe means the world to me. Thank you so much for joining and I'll see you in the video. Newsflash, baby. Researchers report reference genome for maize B chromosome. So we've had a group of researchers. This is Dr. James Birchler's group from the University of Missouri, Dr. Jan Bartos' group from Institute of Experimental Botany of the Czech Academy of Sciences, and Dr. Han Fangpu's group from the Institution of Genetics and Developmental Biology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. So these guys released this report. It's a reference sequence for the supernumerary B chromosome in maize in a study published online in penis. What? No man, not that penis. Apparently penis is the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America. This is basically a peer reviewed journal. It's the official journal of the National Academy of Sciences published since 1915. So within this, you can see all of the original research, scientific reviews, commentaries, and letters. And this is what it looks like if you crack it open. So published on this site where all the research gets peer reviewed, these three different groups of researchers were studying into the supernumerary B chromosomes and they say that these persist in thousands of plants and animal genomes despite being non-essential. They are maintained in populations by mechanisms of drive that make them inherited at a higher than typical Mendelian rate. Mendelian rate or Mendelian ratios express the proportions of different genotypes in the offspring of parents of particular combinations of genotypes. So key properties such as origin, evolution and molecular mechanism for accumulation in maize have remained unclear even though such chromosomes have been a potent tool for studying into maize genetics. And within this study, yes, Illumina and BioNano were used. The researchers used a well-established set of sequencing and mapping tools, including chromosome flow sorting, Illumina sequencing, and BioNano optical mapping, as well as chromatin conformation capture, high C. So Illumina and BioNano being used alongside some other tools in China. What else are they up to? Well, I don't know if you guys saw this. This was in one of my previous videos. I was actually looking at Illumina and I saw that they they partnered with Sequoia Capital China to launch genomics incubators in China. So actually back in January 2021 when this was reported, um, Illumina partnered with this company Sequoia Capital China, a leading investment firm, and what they wanted to do is collaborate to catalyze the startup ecosystem in China with the launch of Sequoia Capital China Intelligent Healthcare Genomics Incubators powered by Illumina. So what they want to do is really boost and provide funding so all of these life science startup companies can advance breakthrough applications in genomics. Over over the next few years, genomics is going to kick into a different gear with all of the funding coming behind it. So this is about agrigenomics, right? So agrigenomics or agronomics is actually coming to carbon conversations too. And one of our service providers, Corteva AgriScience, has a new program designed to help farmers benefit from climate friendly practices. These guys are one of our service providers. They're constantly using the Sapphire. Corteva is actually entering into the fray with what it calls a carbon and ecosystem services portfolio. So I think they're gonna help people create crops that are genetically good at sequestering carbon. Naturally in the wild, we can see here that mangrove forests are excellent at absorbing and storing carbon from the atmosphere. If we look at terms of acres, one acre of salt marsh can sequester 1,940 pounds of carbon. Mangroves can also sequester 1,450 pounds of carbon and then it's seagrass. There's actually money coming to the market for farmers to actually be able to carbon sequester on behalf of other companies. Not only is this good for the environment but farmers can also benefit from it financially. So Ben Gordon who is the carbon and ecosystem services global portfolio leader at Corteva AgriScience, he has said we're working to develop the right program for the right farmer. He said we're not talking about rearranging the agri business pie here, we're talking about net new dollars coming into the industry. So the new program is actually going to provide farmers with access to new markets through a simple flexible way to sell carbon credits for a fair price on the farmer's terms. This will allow farmers to typically earn between $5 and $20 per acre per year by introducing new cover crops 
and or reducing tillage with the assistance of a Corteva advisor. So where does Sapphire and Bionanogenomics fit into all of this? Corteva is one of our providers and in order to have crops that are actually going to be able to sequester more carbon, you need to look for genetic variations that are able to absorb more carbon. So these statistics of one acre of salt marsh, one acre of mangrove, one acre of seagrass that are typically found in the wild, imagine being able to create genetically modified crops that can sequester more carbon dioxide from the air. We're talking some more shmoney and it's it's not just you know genomics that's getting involved we can see also other types of companies that are warming to carbon capture this is even including united airlines so you're getting these airlines now getting involved these guys are working alongside oil giants occidental petroleum they're using giant fans in order to suck up carbon and sequester it into the ground so bio nanogenomics can actually cash flow from the sapphire being used to research genetic variations of crops that can absorb more carbon dioxide use all the consumables you like baby so agrogenomics from plants to animals, it is literally going to transform the future of agriculture. And on Illumina's page, they were just stating, you know, the agricultural genomics applications from plants and animals to commercial agriculture, to agricultural community, to agriculture consortia. Here you can see they even speak about facilitating collaborations between breeders and researchers so they can develop custom products for their species of interest. Members pool resources, Illumina coordinates, everybody benefits. We are constantly going to be researching for years to come, regardless of what happens in the short term to this stock i'm going to be buying as much bio nanogenomics as possible because i believe in five to eight years time this is going to benefit me tremendously sometimes we're too focused on you know diagnosis we're focusing on the human element but all of these industries also tie in to help what we eat the global demand for foods you know there's always groundbreaking research with aims to reduce hunger malnutrition and poverty around the globe and remember when we're looking at the genome project the vertebrate genome project we can see here that lots of research is going into looking at new species still a lot of the time people are always comparing companies but lots of these companies are working together at this moment in time to learn and expand and change the future using genomics remember bio nanogenomics sapphire got adopted by king's college london well whoever is researching with the sapphire continues to utilize it for different applications and take a look at this this is quite interesting we can see here this article in the independent is talking about scientific community divided over the wuhan lab leak theories right take a look at this apparently different scientists are calling for a renewed investigation investigation following the origins of the pandemic, the breakout of C-19. And both the World Health Organization and China said in February that the virus was extremely unlikely to have entered the human population as a result of a laboratory related incident, right? So they writ that off. Well, Dr. Philippa Lentozos said that the lab leak theory is entirely plausible. And this person is a biosecurity researcher at King's College London. She stated that safety lapses in the course of scientific research is a regular occurrence in labs all over the world. And we know there were several research teams in Wuhan working with the C-19 virus. There, as of yet, no concrete evidence has been found for either natural spillover or lab leak. But there is mounting circumstantial evidence for a lab leak and the theory needs to be thoroughly and credibly investigated. So the main point is there's always going to be research, there's always going to be people looking into different fields, and this machine is so useful in genomics. It almost enters every industry that is in genomics. This can be utilized for discovery, it could be used for a research tool, it can look into human disease. With the analysts predicting, you know, $12 over the next 12 months, I want to know what their predictions are going to be if Eric Holmland's, you know, estimated 10,000 sapphires are actually fulfilled. What do they believe the potential share price is going to be of bio nanogenomics in years to come if we get global adoption of the machine i hope you found this really useful and interesting i'm sorry i haven't been posting too many videos lately i've been working super hard to try and buy up as much bingo as possible but yeah let me know your thoughts and feelings and if you get any research any tip offs just write a little bullet point in the comments drop me it down below and i'll take a look into it thank you so much and remember none of this is financial advice it's for entertainment only if you're able to support my channel please click the join button above my head only 99 cents a month and i love and appreciate every single one of you that have donated even one cent to me thank you so much for your love and support and i'll catch you in the next video mr investor over and out baby